Hey everybody, Thomas Joseph here. Now, it may seem rather easy, but classic Caesar salad dressing can be a, a bit tricky. Now, I'm gonna share with you the tips and techniques in making a perfectly emulsified Caesar salad dressing from scratch, and also a cheap method Caesar salad dressing that you can use every single day. So let's get started. To start, we're gonna do the classic Caesar salad method, and that is in a nice, beautiful, wide wooden bowl. We're gonna assemble the dressing right in the bottom of this bowl and then toss the greens with the dressing. So I'm gonna start with two cloves of garlic that I have peeled here and it wouldn't be Caesar salad without some anchovies. And this is four oil-packed anchovy fillets. Now you could use the salt-packed anchovy fillets, but you really should either rinse them under water or get rid of a lot of the salt because you don't want your dressing to be too, too salty. Now, I know there are a lot of people out there who do not like anchovies. And if you really are opposed to anchovies in your Caesar salad dressing, you can substitute some Worcestershire sauce here. Now, Worcestershire sauce is a really fragrant, amazing condiment that I like to keep in my refrigerator. I use it in salad dressings. I will use it in mixed nuts before I toast them. It really does add a punch of flavor to whatever you add it to. It's kind of one of those secret ingredients that has so many ingredients in it. So it has that wonderful depth of flavor that will help in giving you a very similar rich flavor that you get from the anchovies here. In addition to those four fillets, I'm gonna add a half a teaspoon of coarse salt. Now, using two forks, you're gonna break apart the garlic cloves, and then you're going to smash all of this into a paste. Now, this might take you a minute or two, but what will happen, the salt will help. It's kind of an abrasive here, so it helps to break up the garlic and the anchovy into finer pieces, and this is going to really help to flavor the dressing and Caesar salad, I'm sure you've all kind of heard the story that it was actually created in Tijuana, Mexico by Caesar Cardini in 1924, but it's kind of become an American staple in many different restaurants, especially steakhouses. All right, this is looking good. And now it's time to add our other ingredients to the base of the bowl. So we need a little bit of acidity, and that is in the form of a lemon. So I need a tablespoon, at least a tablespoon of lemon juice. And the lemon juice is really going to help contrast all of these wonderful rich flavors we have, and also the fat from the olive oil. So I would say that about the half of this lemon will do. Another ingredient that's kind of essential here when we're making Caesar salad dressing that's gonna help to create this emulsion, to create a very creamy, delicious Caesar salad dressing is Dijon mustard. So I'm gonna add about a teaspoon, maybe a little bit more than that. And what this does is it helps the oil and the lemon juice, which is the acidity, to kind of intermingle and create a very fine emulsion. So I'm gonna whisk this together, and I'm also going to add an egg yolk. So this is the classic method, I'm using it today a raw egg yolk, but if you had reservations about this, you could do two different things. One, you could pasteurize your egg yolk, meaning you could heat it to about 160 degrees, and you can easily do that over a small pot of water and a bowl, a bain-marie as we say, a pot of simmering water, and temp it at 160 and you're ready to use it. Or you could use a little bit of mayonnaise here. So mayonnaise is oil and egg, and sometimes it has a little bit of vinegar that goes along with it, depending on the brand you buy, and that will give you the same effect here as the egg yolk. So there are ways in which you can achieve a really classic Caesar salad dressing with a nice tight emulsion without a raw egg yolk. So I'm just whisking these ingredients together, creating a nice base. I'm gonna add a little bit of black pepper, so I have about a quarter of a teaspoon to a half a teaspoon. It really depends on if, how much you like pepper. And now I'm going to drizzle in a half of a cup of extra virgin olive oil. So you really wanna use a really fantastic, well-flavored olive oil here because this is the primary ingredient. In terms of volume and quantity, the olive oil is kind of king here. So slowly stream this in. And what we're doing is we're breaking up the little droplets of oil and they're creating a fine chain 
with the lemon juice and the egg yolk. And your dressing, in the end, should look nice and creamy and thick. And really, the egg yolk, the mustard, and this slow, steady stream while whisking is what's creating that fantastic emulsion for you. Now, if you do, in fact, break the emulsion that you're making here, you can fix it. So if you end up with something that's kind of curdled and clumpy looking, what you should do is you should remove it from the bowl and you should add a little bit of water to your bowl, maybe like a tablespoon or two, and then gently stream in your broken Caesar dressing. And if you do it slowly, you should be able to get a nice creamy sauce. So just a little bit of water and a little bit of time in that continued agitation with the whisk and you should have a, a really fantastic Caesar dressing. And this technique, you guys, can be used to make a wonderful aioli that you could use to dip your french fries or you could put on top of your burger. It's really the same technique. You just need to play around with the flavorings that you have. So there it is, a beautiful, thick Caesar dressing, nicely emulsified, not separated at all. You can see it has a pale, light, and almost fluffy texture to it. And now we're ready to compose the salad. So that didn't really take that much time at all. So I have romaine lettuce here. This is about two large heads of romaine lettuce that I've washed and I've chopped into pieces. And you wanna make sure after you wash the lettuce that you thoroughly dry it. If you have wet lettuce leaves here, what's gonna happen is this dressing's going to slip right off the leaves and you won't have nicely coated lettuce leaves. So this goes right into the bowl here. And again, a great, reason why you should be using a nice large salad bowl that's nice and wide and kind of shallow is so that you can easily toss your romaine lettuce, your salad, without damaging the leaves too much and kind of bruising the lettuce that you have. In addition to the lettuce, I'm going to add a little bit of grated Parmesan cheese. Again, this is up to kind of your tastes here, how much cheese you'd like. And then just gently tossing the romaine. So now a Caesar salad wouldn't be complete without some croutons. So I have a rustic Italian bread that I've tossed with a little bit of olive oil, salt, pepper, maybe even a little bit of cayenne if you want some spice. Toast that in the oven until they're nice and crisp and dry, and that goes in here as well. And that gives wonderful texture and crunch to a Caesar salad as well. So there you go, guys, in a matter of minutes, I've created what I think is a restaurant-worthy Caesar salad here, hand-prepared. And there you go, an amazing Caesar salad that would make the basis for any meal. You could add some grilled chicken or some pan-seared fish, and this would be a fantastic dinner. Now, you could dress this up a little bit with some Parmesan cheese, extra parm. Just using a vegetable peeler, you can kind of shave this into nice pieces and it just adds a nice finishing touch to your Caesar salad. So there you go, classic Caesar salad, handmade. Now, for the cheat version, which I will do this at home sometimes on the weekdays, and that's using my mini food processor. You could also make this in a blender, or you could use one of those hand blenders. So a little bit of lemon juice, this is about a quarter of a cup of lemon juice, I have a quarter of a cup of mayo. So this, again, no egg yolk here. I don't even have to add oil because there's already oil in the mayonnaise. A quarter of a cup of Parmesan cheese. This is the finely ground Parmesan cheese. One clove of garlic. I'm gonna add that in. And then two anchovy fillets. Now, if you didn't wanna add this, again, you could use the Worcestershire sauce here. So that's going right into my food processor. And then you just process this until it's nice and thick and well combined and everything is chopped up into nice pieces. Ooh. So you can see guys, this is nice and thick. So whether you're making it on a weeknight in your blender with some pantry ingredients or you're doing the classic by hand method, there you go. You know the tips, the tricks, all of the technique. You don't have to buy that store-bought stuff. Don't you do it. And if you guys have any Kitchen Conundrums, we'd love to hear from you right in the comment section below or reach out to us using the hashtag Kitchen Conundrums. Enjoy your Caesar salad, guys. And as always, guys, click like and subscribe.